At least 13 persons were murdered in Jamaica over the past 36 hours in a blood-curdling crime wave spurred by marauding gunmen across the island. In Westmoreland, two females, 45-year-old Sophia Brown, 63-year-old Bernie Lewis, both of Long Hill, White House in the parish were gone down as a business place at about 2.10 p.m. by two men posing as customers. The men pulled firearms and shot the women before escaping. The women were taken to hospital where they were both pronounced dead. In St. Andrew, the bodies of 25-year-old Dijon Campbell and Kamal Forbes, otherwise called Jollyman, boat laborer of Nine Miles Bull Bay, St. Andrew, were found at a riverside in the parish on Wednesday, January 12. Reports from the Bull Bay Police are that about 8 p.m. on Tuesday, January 11, residents heard explosions and summoned them. Upon their arrival, nothing was seen. However, law enforcers returned to the area at about 6.40 a.m. on Wednesday and found the bodies at a riverside with what appeared to be gunshot wounds. On Wednesday, at about 2 a.m., 29-year-old Shane Spencer, a laborer of Roehampton District, St. James, and 16-year-old Tony Ann Reed, a student of the parish, were shot and killed by unknown assailants in the St. James community. Reports from the Anchovy police are that they were summoned by residents who reportedly heard explosions upon their arrival. Spencer and Reed were found in a house with gunshot wounds all over their bodies. They were taken to hospital where death was confirmed. No motive has been established for the fatal attack. St. James notably recorded a triple murder earlier this week. 40-year-old Marlon Spencer of Goldsmith Villa in August Town, St. Andrew, was shot and killed at his gate by unknown assailants on Wednesday at about 5.45 p.m. Also, 63-year-old Carlton Knight, a retired firefighter of Longsville Park, Clarendon, was shot and killed and two other persons shot and injured along Washington Boulevard in St. Andrew on Wednesday, January 12. Reports from the Onsbay police are that shortly after 9 p.m., Knight and two other persons were traveling in a motor vehicle when they were pounced open by armed men traveling in a white motor car. The men opened gunfire at Knight's vehicle, It's in all three persons inside the unit. The injured persons were taken to hospital where Knight was pronounced dead. The other injured persons are being treated for their injuries. 21-year-old chef Dimitri Dawson, otherwise called Dimi, of Bread Lane in Paradise, Norwood, St. James, was shot and killed at about 3 p.m. on Wednesday. Reports are that Dawson was standing at a bar along Bread Lane when he was approached by two men. The men opened fire, eating Dawson multiple times before making their escape from the area. The Corporate Communication Unit, CCU, the information arm of the Jamaica Constabulary Force, JCF, has also reported a murder in Kingston Western Police Division on Thursday morning and a double murder in St. Andrew South Police Division. No details were released on this murder up to early afternoon Thursday. A child was also murdered in St. James on Thursday morning following the reported robbery of a motor car with the mother of the child being since placed in protective custody and made a probe into the development. According to police statistics, 37 persons were murdered in the first eight days of the year, a figure which represented a 32% increase in murders when compared with the corresponding period last year. Gunman flees with pastors, gun leave is behind in Newerton robbery. St. Catherine, Jamaica, a pastor who is a licensed firearm holder, was attacked and stabbed by a gunman who made off with a clergyman's gun, leaving his illegal weapon behind. The eye drama occurred during a robbery near the pastor's house in Europe and St. Catherine on Wednesday night, Observer Online understands. Police sources said the incident happened about 8.15 p.m. when the pastor returned home and exited his vehicle. It is reported that the gunman, who had a homemade firearm, accosted the pastor who held onto the robber's weapon. During a struggle, the gunman's firearm fell and he pulled a pair of scissors and stabbed the pastor several times. As the struggle continued, the pastor then pulled his firearm which also fell. The gunman grabbed the pastor's gun and fled leaving his homemade weapon behind. 
The illegal firearm was handed over to the Uerton police and the incident was reported. The pastor was taken to hospital where he was treated for his injuries. Police have since launched a man on for the gunman. Tomalee Sporter rejoices in daughter's recovery after shooting. Incarcerated dancer star Tommy Lee Sparta is happy about his daughter's recovery following a shooting in Flanker St. James, which left her hospitalized and a nine-year-old boy dead almost two years ago. In an Instagram post today, Sparta shared a video of his daughter practicing in a physiotherapy session to rehabilitate her hand, which was injured during the shooting. My baby hand is getting well now. Lie on a figure, me props in a me and behave myself. Crime and violence must stop. It no peer money bug emoji. It costs love is the way the blessing singer wrote in the caption. Tamale Sparta's daughter is seen performing multiple rotation on an hand exercise machine. And a physiotherapist, otherwise known as hand therapy, is a non surgical rehabilitation process performed by physical or occupational therapists to manage hand disorder and injuries. And physiotherapy involves the use of different physical methods, including exercise, wound cares, and splinting. According to reports from the Corporate Communication Unit of the Jamaica Constabulary Force, three men, Martina Kellier, also known as Tina, a person identified as Bubba, and an unidentified individual that had an altercation one fateful Sunday afternoon in March 2020. At around 5 p.m., the argument resulted in gunfire that led to the shooting of a 9-year-old boy and a 6-year-old girl. The boy died while the girl, Tamalee Sparta daughter, was hospitalized in stable condition. Tamalee Sparta, whose real name is Lyra Russell, hails from Flanker, the Griffith St. James community long plagued by crime and violence. He has been incarcerated for over a year after he pleaded guilty to illegal possession of firearm and ammunition in March 2021 and was sentenced to three years in prison. His popular songs include Under Vibes, Spartan Soldier, Rich Badness, Cycle, Spartan Angel, and most recently Protocol with Skeng.